Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about an another way of how we can brute force subdomains to find more uh, subdomains that can result in more bounties, right? But before going into this video, as always if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've also shown you that how we can brute force subdomain using AMAS, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also, for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website, which is bpractical.tech, then you are missing a lot. Just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our awesome website over here. As you can see, we have lots of contents related to cybersecurity and web development. Like as you can see, we have a latest content, the art of brute forcing subdomains, uh, exploring the danger sites of no SQL injection and so many things, right? And the interesting part that we are offering is the labs and the labs are basically based on account takeovers wherein you will learn that how hackers actually find those misconfiguration that can result in directly or indirectly account compromise of the victim right so all of these flaps are based on real world scenarios and are absolutely free so go ahead and check it out now with that being said let's get started so the tool that we're going to use in this video is known as pure dns so you can just click on the link given in the description and you will be redirected to the tool or else you can just do what i'm doing which is i'm just going to type pure dns and github and then we have this particular pure DNS tool over here, which can resolve domains and can be used to brute force subdomains, right? So it is actually a quite good tool, but there is one small uh, demerit of this tool that it will take a lot of uh, processor uses. That's why your computer will get a lot of lot slower than uh, before because this tool will require a lot of resources from your computer, right? So as you can see, this is the tool over here and uh, as you can see pure dns is the fast domain resolver and subdomain brute forcing tool so i personally have a lot of uh, success using this particular tool i've uh, i've been able to find a lot of vulnerabilities just because using this tool i was able to cover up those subdomains that are usually hidden from the other uh, fellow bug bounty hunters so this is why you should use this tool so let me show you that how we can use this particular tool the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy this and simply we're going to paste it in our kali linux machine so i'm just going to open mine and uh, let me just open it and by the way if you don't know how to use kali linux on windows machine then go ahead and check out this video of mine which will be uh, reflecting at the right side of the screen and you'll be uh, able to install uh, windows in kali uh, sorry kali linux in windows machine now once we have kali linux up and running what we can do is we can just clone this repository into our machine we can just type git clone and paste this and as you can see cloning process has been started here we are, the cloning process has been now completed and if I go to pure DNS, here we have the tool and now the thing that we need to do is we need to have Go language installed in our machine. To install Go language in Kali Linux, just type sudo apt install golang minus y and just provide the root password and uh, let me just type it again and here we are and as you can see go language will get installed in your machine i'm just going to stop it because uh, i already have installed go language in my machine in my machine so it is showing because it is trying to update the go language and because of my network issue it's not able to do so but uh, that part once we have a uh, go language installed in our machine what we want to do is we want to build this file using go right so here is the command that we need to type we need to type go build main.go and this will build go uh, pure dns for uh, and convert this uh, file into uh, byte codes and we can then execute this particular file so let us wait till it uh, uh, compile the particular program meanwhile let me just minimize it and the second thing that we need to do is we need to uh, have a text which is resolvers.txt so resolver.txt have a bunch of IP address and our pure DNS will try to uh, resolve the domain name to the list of the IP address that we have provided. Now we have an awesome uh, resolver.txt which is continuously getting updated by the one who have created the recon FTW. So to download that you can just type recon FTW and then you can just type uh, resolvers.txt and don't worry this link will be also given in the description and if you want you can just click on this link like i've done here and over here as you can see we have this and now we need to clone this into our local machine as well so uh, let me just clone it and as you can see we have the file compiled successfully and if i type ls as you can see we have this particular file uh, main and now we are we want to change the name of this file so we can just type move main to pure dns 
and again as you can see the file has been uh, modified or renamed and now we want to move this file to bin directory so that we can access it from anywhere from the terminal right and to do that we can just type sudo move uh, pure dns to bin and if you'll hit enter it is going to move this particular pure dns into this bin directory right now i'm not going to do that because i already have configured my pure dns so i'm just going to ignore this step but you need to do it in order to use this particular tool now once we have pure dns installed let us see that how we can use this tool yeah uh, i forgot to uh, clone this repository just copy this and uh, just uh, paste it over here type in get clone and just paste it and as you can see the cloning has been started let's wait for a few seconds till it gets cloned and here we are the file has been cloned and if i go to resolvers here it is the resolvers.txt and now we are ready to use this tool so let us go and read the documentation to understand how we can use this tool so first, first of all let us try to understand the features so it can resolve thousands of dns queries it can brute for subdomains can clean wildcard and detect wildcard routes uh, circumvent dns load balancing during wildcard detection validate the result of uh, free of dns poisoning uh, it can save this and it can do a lot of things right so we already have installed this and let us try to uh, learn that how we can use this tool. So I'm just going to uh, open my Kali Linux over here, and now we can just type pure DNS minus minus help, and it will show all the available commands that we can use. Now we have three important commands: brute force that can brute force subdomain using a word list, resolve that can resolve a list of domains, and sponsors to show the active sponsor. So this is none of our concern, but these two particular uh, commands are very important for us. Now. In this video, we are going to brute force the subdomains, right? So that's why we are going to use brute force. Now, type pure DNS brute force minus minus help, and it will show all the available commands in the brute force uh, command itself, right? So this is how we need to pass the arguments. So we can pass pure DNS brute force. Then we have to provide the word list. Then we have to provide domain, and then we can uh, pass our custom resolvers that which I'm doing right now. Or you can just hit enter and it will try to resolve it, right? So let's use this particular tool now. Now uh, we have our uh, uh, resolvers.txt, right? The second thing and the important thing is we want the list for subdomain brute forcing, right? So an, an awesome list of subdomain brute forcing is already mentioned in the previous video. I'm going to show you a different uh, uh, subdomain uh, word list. So you can just go to asset note. Let me just open it real quick. Not this one. And don't worry, this link will be also given in the description. So you don't need to worry about anything. Just go down over here and we are going to use this particular uh, subdomain. 2 million plus subdomain generated from GitHub dataset. We are going to just copy this copy the link address and we're going to uh, just close it real quick and we are going to uh, clone this file over here to put it and now it's going to download this particular file it's going to take some time so i'll get back to you once my files get downloaded now as you can see over here mm -hmm. the file has been downloaded successfully and now once we have this file downloaded we are ready to go now we have the resolvers.txt and the subdomain uh, word list as well right so let us try to enumerate subdomains of let's say our website which is bpractical.tech so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clear the screen first and the first thing we need to type is pure dns of course then we're going to type brute force after that we are going to provide the word list which is uh two million subdomains then we are going to provide the domain name which is bpractical.tech then we are going to provide the resolvers file we can specify minus r i'm going to just pass the resolvers.txt notice that i'm already in this resolver uh, recon ftw directory which means i can just directly access this file otherwise i have to provide the full directory or the uh, reference uh, path right and now once we have that we can just specify minus w which can write the output into a file and let's say the file name will be uh, test.txt and now once i'll hit enter it's going to use a lot of bandwidth from my internet right so it's going to take a lot of time and as you can see it has been started and i'll get back to you once this uh, uh, pure dns completes its uh, process
now as you can see we were able to find nine valid subdomains and as you can see these are the domains now there are some uh, duplicate domains over here as well but we can sort them out by using the sort minus u command right so the important thing is that this is how you can brute force and find more subdomains for a particular target using pure dns so i hope that you are able to understand that how we can use pure dns if you have any doubts or any issues at any point then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going in cyber security and web development and even if you want to discuss something then feel free to check out our telegram channel and for those uh, who like the way i teach and want more content from me then i am currently running two courses the first one is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers wherein i have shown that uh, how we can dive deep into the application to find those misconfiguration that can result in hacking anyone's account directly or indirectly and the second course is hacking windows with python wherein i have shown that how hackers create their own custom payload that can bypass any antivirus that can exec execute system commands on the victim's machine that can upload and download file that can access the webcam and so many things so yeah go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description and with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching